setting the UCS to an existing object. If we come up into our coordinates and we go to the lower left hand corner and we hit the down arrow here, you'll see that we have three different options. I'm going to choose the object option of the UCS coordinate system. This will align a user coordinate system to a particular object. So I'll click on it and basically what I'll do is I'll just pick on an object and I pick on an object and it parks that UCS right where I picked. So notice right where I picked that's where it goes. I'll do that again. I'll come over here and I pick right on the object here and it'll align itself to the object so in this case it lined it up with the X and Y with that Z popping out so but it does put it right where you picked and that may or may not be what you had in mind for example uh, so if I came down and picked the object one and I came down here and said oh I'm trying to pick it by the corner it might not necessarily grab it by the corner but if I throw it onto a something like a cylinder for example it takes and knows that it has certain geometry and it will park it at the center of a circle or a cylinder which is kind of handy but notice it doesn't necessarily mean that it is rotated right on the quadrants it actually just parks it down on that surface uh, of that object and so you're going to have to end up rotating these things um, to, to go to the quadrants for example so you might want to you know pick on this thing grab a hold of the end and then shift right click and say you want to go to quadrant and then it found a quadrant and now you could rotate it to that quadrant now and uh, so I'm not sure if it actually found that proper quadrant but you're going to have to manipulate that um, based on uh, some, some geometry here so you're going to have to spin those things around so the the uh, selecting the UCS to an existing object and eh, it gets the X and uh, X and Y on a surface uh, all the time and then you will kind of have to move it around uh, for example uh, come on mouse and uh, I can get it onto the surface and you can see I got uh, at this point you can see my X and Y is on the surface but my Z might not be you know my origin might not be where I want to be so at that point I can grab a hold of it and maybe move it so I find it limited of what uh, what it's really useful for so but you can do it to get it to halfway there a lot of times so setting the UCS to the existing object